Hello everyone, Ken and Lo here, back with more World of Tanks Classic. And this time, after my IS-4 got demolished by artillery, why don't we try out artillery for ourselves? So, this time, I used some of the free experience Wargaming gave us to unlock the S-51 from the KV, since you could actually do that back then. Um, I... Honestly, don't think I'm going to bother to unlock the tier 7 or 8. Like, they're very similar to the tier 6. I mean, the 261 has a better rate of fire accuracy and all that. But the damage output is pretty similar. So, at tier 6, we can we have access to a tier 8 203mm gun. And this was back when having, like, your caliber more or less to is how much damage you deal per shot like for an example the 152 millimeter gun does around that 950 750 with AP range the similar to like the 150 millimeter from the E100 for an example so with artillery though you can get even bigger <laughs> 203 millimeter and even though that you do sacrifice a lot of rate of fire, you literally double your damage. <laughs> oh boy, a defeat for the IS-4. I was not surprised. Anyway, the accuracy goes down by a little bit and the aiming time increases. But the damage output, <laughs> eight, 1,850 damage and your accuracy, I'm pretty sure with the S-51, is that 0.5. So pretty much you have a Type 5 Heavy's derp gun, except it has 102 penetration, 1850 average damage, and an armor piercing option <laughs> of 260 pen that gives you 1450 damage. And you can fire across the map. So, hey, why not? <laughs> And there has been an, uh, like, look at that in the, in the queue. There's 28 artillery in each team, on um, 28 in the queue. 28 artillery in each team, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, basically, the one game I would have really enjoyed playing the IS-4 in, we get into a city, a more or less city map. And there's only two artillery on each team, so I'm not going to be demolished by artillery. And I only get that when I play artillery. <laughs> I couldn't get this with the IS-4. Of course not. That would be... Move out. That would be bad, bad matchmaking or something. So, with old school artillery, for sure you need to move after every shot. Or at least you should because the enemies can see your tracers a whole lot easier in this version. I, I think I heard a rumor that on the live server you can't even see tracers from artillery at all. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But in this version, you can definitely see tracers. So that is the main aspect I would say of how artillery get killed is by other artillery shooting them from across the map and seeing their tracer. I don't think I'm really going to be able to do that on this map simply because well I'm kind of in the most anti-artillery the most artillery defensive position that I can. Even artillery hate artillery, <laughs> right? Okay, so we have a T-54 coming in, and I do have the high explosive loaded, because uh, back then, you could load armor piercing, like I said, in the garage. Uh, it has 250, 260 penetration, so the same as the IS-7, for an example, and you do 1450 damage. They, honestly, they're really unreliable. If I remember right. Ooh. 500 damage. I think I hit some cracks there. The S51 only has 12 shells, so <laughs> better make them count. 
well, the, the main reason why I found them to be so unreliable is mainly because they have no splash radius at all. And even though the splash radius is a whole lot less in this version compared to the live server, uh, it's it's definitely not it, it's it's at least something could hit the is3 but and moving your hull at all really hampers your accuracy I'm gonna take a blind shot that was close. see I splashed him for 250 so with armor piercing, I just find that you miss more often than not. So I, I just find that most of the time it's really unreliable, and then you also have to deal with your shells bouncing, which is which obviously high explosive does not do that. So I'm gonna try to help out this mutant here, or M6 ADV1. Yeah, that see, see, in old school artillery, you could get splashes that were like 600 damage, just like that one. If you were the T92, you could get splashes that were like over 200. So it definitely, it, it definitely made artillery just ridiculously dangerous at this point, and. The funny thing is, is that I almost prefer this map the, the way that artillery used to be. I prefer that over the stock. But the only problem is, is that back in, in this version, matchmaking, you could have, of course, six to eight artillery on each side. It wasn't, it wasn't outstanding. I mean, uh, it wasn't unbelievable to get a artillery on each team. And just having that much artillery is probably the main thing that, that ruins it. Um, so far, anyway. Ooh, that's a lot of eagles that I could be splashing. I shoot straight over him. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I so we're probably gonna get flanked pretty quick here, but kind of want to help out somehow. Think. The other S-51 on my team kind of has the same idea, to just deal as much damage as we can until the enemy cavalry arrives. The gunner is wounded! He'll have a hard time hitting anything! No, honestly, I might... I probably should have aimed that way prior to that, but yeah, there isn't really much winning this game. So yeah, that was old school artillery, pretty much in a nutshell. You can, you can deal way more damage per shot than you could ever do in the artillery state, and the gun will also have a lot of impact overall. And so you kind of have this mix of if you hit something, you do massive damage, but since the splash radius is lower for everything besides probably the T92, <laughs> just because, um, if you miss and splash stuff, you aren't really going to deal any damage, whereas currently in World of Tanks, you could splash... 10 meters away and still deal 100 damage and stun and all that so it's kind of a mixed bag but honestly I would prefer this version of artillery 
if as long as there isn't six on each side or more, you know. I kind of want artillery to be dangerous. I, uh, back in the day, that was primarily the main reason why I played artillery. It was because of seeing those big, huge hits that you only see today in today's world of tanks. You can only get that by playing the the FV two and five B one eighty three or the FV four thousand five. Seeing those big hits that are over a thousand damage and artillery I kind of felt like was also required a little bit more skill <laughs> especially compared to nowadays because you have to be really patient and in many many of these vehicles I think the T92 might be an exception to this because it has um, you have to keep in mind like how big your gun arc is uh, most artillery, especially the higher tier ones, don't really have that big of a gun arc. But yeah, I think the T92 might be slight has might have a slightly bigger one than the other two. So everyone go for the T92. <laughs> but you would have to keep in mind like how much room you have before you turn, because as soon as you turn, your aim you pretty much have to re-aim. Re from scratch so I like I said I, I prefer this version of, of artillery I think the the first time that they nerfed artillery when they made it so that the pretty much like all of the artillery accuracies were 0.3 worse uh, the aiming time was like maybe 10 10 to 20 percent worse if they had that version of the game uh, with the maximum of three artillery on each side, I, I think I would, I think I would actually like that. Um, but having artillery um, in the old old school version, where they're so more, so much more accurate, and their aiming time isn't as abysmal as it could be, and their rate of fire is actually half decent, um, that that just is a bit much. So. That's kind of my thoughts on it, and hopefully I showcased artillery at least enough to get a feel for it. So with that, thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day.